1. Port Gas D. Ace is well-mannered and always falling asleep. Unlike his brother Luffy, Ace is extremely well-mannered and intelligent, making him both more likable and more tolerable. But he wasn't always that way. He too, has an empty pit for a stomach, loves to party and have fun, and is just as reckless as Luffy and even more impulsive. Even though they weren't blood-related. They were still quite close. One of Ace's most endearing traits is his narcolepsy, his ability to fall asleep just about anywhere and while doing anything. This led to some pretty comedic situations. Which makes him all the more loved. <laughs> 10. When Nami struck down Ultai for hurting Tama. Ultai is one of the members of the Beast's Pirates, led by Kaido. An infamous Tobarapo, she possesses tremendous power that was too great for Nami to deal with. However, when Ultai involved Tama, a child, in their battle and hurt her, Nami promised to take her down no matter what. Shortly after acquiring the power of Zeus, Nami struck using her improved lightning attacks and delivered on her word. Defeating one of the strongest members of the Beast's Pirates. <laughs> 9. When Luffy defeated Crocodile and surpassed him. Luffy's first challenge in One Piece came at the hands of Crocodile, the Shichibukai who ran things behind the scenes in Arabasta. Although Luffy started the fight much weaker than his opponent, as the arc progressed, his promise of surpassing Crocodile seemed more likely. Eventually, Luffy managed to surpass all his limits and defeated the Shichibukai with a barrage of punches liberating the country of Arabasta in the process. 8. When Luffy one-shot Bellamy in Mock Town Bellamy the Hyena was a minor antagonist in the Skypiea saga and although he went on to have a change of heart later, his first impression wasn't all that inspiring. Bellamy and his crew laughed at Luffy in his dream, believing that the tales of Sky Island were nothing more than fables. After doubting the age of pirates and Luffy's skill and, most importantly, hurting his friends, Bellamy eventually attacked Luffy and, surprisingly, was defeated with a single punch. 7. When Zoro cut down Mr. One in the midst of battle. Zoro's fight against Mr. One remains to be one of the most intense battles that the Straw Hat Swordsman has ever fought. Although he started the fight against the former assassin from West Blue at a disadvantage. Zoro promised to cut him down no matter what. Mr. One's steel body offered protection to him from Zoro's blades but thanks to that, Zoro learned how to cut steel and surpassed all his limits as he said he would. 6. When Zoro took Luffy's pain on Thriller Bark. The Thriller Bark arc of One Piece offered some incredible characterization for Roranoa Zoro, the swordsman of the Straw Hat Pirates. Zoro's loyalty to Luffy is one of the most defining aspects of his character, and although he never talks about it, Zoro wouldn't hesitate to put his life on the line for his captain. When the threat of Kuma loomed over the crew, Zoro offered his head instead of Luffy's just so he could save them and his captain. What's more, he managed to survive the deadly ordeal that Kuma forced upon him. And immortalized himself as a fan favorite character. 5. When Sanji saved the crew with his culinary skills. One Piece's whole Cake Island arc threw the spotlight on the chef of the Straw Hat Pirates, Sanji. While the arc started with Sanji leaving the crew, he rejoined Luffy midway through and then, with the help of his friends, saved his family. Sanji didn't have the strength to beat the Yonko Big Mom, but he certainly believed he could knock her out nonetheless. He managed to save the day by baking a cake that did just that and stalled her enough so the crew could escape from Whole Cake Island. 4. When Usopp showed his bravery against Mr. Four and Miss Merry Christmas. 
Usopp's biggest dream is to become a brave warrior, something that he already is when it matters but doesn't realize just yet. The first time Usopp shone in the story was during his fight against Mr. Four and Miss Merry Christmas. Although Usopp looked to be well on his way to defeat, the enemies making fun of his captain's dream forced him to overcome his fear and win by using his wit combined with Chopper's expertise. Just as Luffy expected them to. Three, when Law brought down Doflamingo's empire. One Piece's plot started focusing on Law and Doflamingo's contentious relationship towards the end of the punk hazard arc. Although Law promised to crush him one way or the other. Their initial clash made it seem as if accomplishing that was impossible. Doflamingo even mocked Law's lack of strength and failure to avenge Corazon, but the surgeon of death's faith in Luffy paid off as Doflamingo did eventually fall and Dress Rosa was liberated. <laughs> 2. When Whitebeard forgave Squard in Marineford. Whitebeard was a pirate known for his loyalty to his crew and allies, who he called his sons. One of the allies, Squard, was deceived by Akainu and talked into attacking Whitebeard. In a shocking act of betrayal, Whitebeard's own son stabbed him right through the gut. Yet, instead of punishing him, Whitebeard's love for his children shone through as he hugged Squard instead. Declaring that his love is equal for all his children, Whitebeard showed he was a man of his word and genuinely loved his children with all his heart. <laughs> One, when Luffy jumped into a war to rescue his brother. Luffy's love for his brother, Ace, was readily apparent ever since the two met in Arabasta. However, the extent to which he loved Ace wasn't shown to fans until Marineford. Despite knowing he was fighting the strongest who he stood no chance against, and though he realized that he was a mere ant in the eye of a storm, Luffy jumped into the war to save Ace. He even gave up a portion of his lifespan to rescue him, showing just how much Ace meant to him. Luffy might not show his love through words, but his actions always speak for themselves. <laughs>